Hip-Hops is 1987.com. Terrell Thomas, Hip Hop since 1987, 2017 BT Weekend. We're in Los Angeles, LAX area right now. And I'm with a man who, with us, with us being in the, in the BT spirit, mm -hmm. you got a lot of things going on. It'll be jumping off next month, more specifically in July. Correct. Mr. Irv Gotti spoke on it tonight. Correct. You go by the name of Christian Robinson. How you feeling today? I'm feeling blessed. Highly favored, bro. Now, you'll be in the upcoming episode of Tales. Uh, it's a new series that Irv Gotti has. It'll be coming on BET where he'll take songs, uh, classic hip-hop songs, and turn them into hour or half an hour segments. How long? Hour, hour segments. Well, Thank the, you. The premiere is actually a two-hour episode, and the finale will be a two-hour episode as okay, well. Dope. But every episode in between will be an hour. Okay. And uh, you'll, ha you'll have a role on one of those episodes, so we'll talk about that. But you've been doing acting for some time now. You're an actor. I believe you're from the, the East Coast, even though we're on the West Coast, uh, more specifically more specifically in the New York, New Jersey area. So talk to me a little, bit about, a little bit about yourself and how you got into the acting business. Absolutely. Well, I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York all my life. Uh, when I was about 15 or 16 years old, my family moved to Delaware. Didn't really have much of a choice, had to go. So at about 21 years old, I got in a point in my life where I was just trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do. I went to church one day. This very nice lady asked me to be in a play. It's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I did it, and I fell in love with acting, like, completely. So I just started doing research in how to get into the industry and, you know, things of that nature. And I spoke to my best friend's aunt, right? And she gave me some very great advice. She said, look up people that you admire, see what they did, and just do the same thing. So I just started Googling, Googling, research, you know, start with my Denzel, what Denzel did, right, you know, trying to figure it out. So it went down the ladder, and I just was just researching a lot of African-American male actors. So I started researching Lance Gross's story, and I see that he actually studied with Tasha Smith at her acting class. And... Again, like I said, I was living in Delaware at the time, so I just Googled Tasha Smith's acting class. I see she was having one, like, within two to three weeks in New York, and I went. And I went to it, and that class changed my life, man. That class taught me a lot about myself. Uh, that's where, that's actually, that weekend is when I decided to move to Atlanta to pursue acting. And six months later, I moved to Atlanta, and... When I got to Atlanta, it was just hustle, grind, get to it, figure it out. I didn't have much guidance in the industry. I figured a lot of it out myself. And then when I met right people, a lot of people helped me and guided me after like I started like figuring it out. Uh, so I had help once I got to a certain level. But for the most part, that's, that's how I got in. That's the short version. So, uh, uh, yeah, uh, you said, as you were told to look up some people you admire in the role, and you, you said something about Denzel. Absolutely. You, you also mentioned Lance, uh, Lance Gross, but uh, give me a little bit uh, more uh, in-depth detail on who were some people that you looked at acting while African-American actors and why you chose those actors. Okay, absolutely. That's a very good question. Denzel Washington, of course, we all inspire to be like Denzel Washington as an actor. His story is honestly impeccable. It's incredible. Uh, Idris Elba is an amazing actor. Wood Harris is one of my favorite actors. I definitely looked him up as well. And uh, Jim Carrey, I know you said African-American, but Jim Carrey is one of my favorite actors as well. Jeremy Piven, I could go on for days. But, um, yeah, so I, I just chose African-American actors because I'm an African-American actor. And I was like, what did they do? It'd probably just make a lot of sense for me to do the same thing. So you'll be uh, doing some things now recently, uh, more recently, as, we, as I just gave mention to, in July on BT with Tales. Talk to me about the episode you'll be playing in and how you got that role. Okay, absolutely. So the episode I'll be in is called Cold Hearted. It's okay. a Meek Mill song off of his Dreams Worth More Than Money album. Uh, and it's a, it's a song about betrayal. It's a song about friends and, and people becoming envious of your success. And so the audition process was I auditioned for like it was so in the in the acting world a casting director sends out a breakdown to and it's released on like this actor website 
And then the agents go and they look and they see where their clients may fit for a role and then they submit their client. So I got submitted, casting director brought me in for an audition. I murdered that audition <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and uh, I got offered the role. So do you see yourself doing more work with uh, BZ and Irv Gotti in the future? Will you be on future episodes of Tales? What exactly, who was your character in this episode okay. of Tales? So absolutely, I could definitely see myself working with Irv Gotti and BZ in the future. I look forward to it, actually. I can't speak too much on my character because of the secrecy and non-disclosure agreements. <laughs> but um, I have a very huge part in the episode. So my character plays a very, very, like, episode-defining part. So this wasn't your first, this isn't your debut role. You've done other things as well where you've been in notable roles and been on big screens and big platforms. Yeah. Talk to me about some of your previous work and how, how extensive your resume is. Okay, absolutely. So a lot of you might no notice me from the Netflix original Burning Sands. That is the role that changed everything for me. That is the role that changed my life. That is the role that got these eyes on me and people like, oh my gosh, this kid is incredible. I love that project so much, man. And so with that, a lot of people, like I said, might have noticed me from that. My name is Big C. I play one of the elder fraternity brothers in that film. Uh, what you're going to be seeing me in is When Love Kills. That's coming out this September, directed by Tasha Smith, uh, starring Lance Gross and Little Mama. You'll also see me in a project called Bloom with Skylin Brooks, who played Ra Ra on The Get Down as well. So I have a couple projects coming out. Uh, before that, I was in... <laughs> if you look for two seconds, you'll catch me in the Mickey Howard story on TV One. I go like this. I give you the Kool-Aid smile. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Kool yeah, Kool-Aid smile. But other than that, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the future. So talk to me about, uh, we all know that Hollywood is, is, you know, is La La Land. It's where a lot of movies are made. It's where a lot of acting careers for actors and actresses, just actors, you know, period, where their, where their careers uh, excel and they go to new heights. But you were in Atlanta. You know, a lot of people look at that as being black Hollywood. It's growing as well. Mm -hmm. uh, also, in, in the mainstream mu uh, uh, movie industry, you see a lot of Marvel films being shot there. You see a lot of your A-list -A uh, movie actors moving to Atlanta and doing films there. So why did you decide to move? out to LA and how has the move to LA changed your career okay uh, so I started in Atlanta because when I when I was in Delaware and I and I was deciding to leave it was either back home to New York moving to Los Angeles or moving to Atlanta and I decided in Atlanta because of advice I was given at the Tasha Smith class that I attended and also just listening to God and praying and just seeing the signs, man. It was just go to Atlanta. So I get to Atlanta, I grind it out, I meet some amazing people that helped change my life and I book Burning Sands in Atlanta. And after I book Burning Sands and I'm speaking with certain people in very high places that are giving me advice and they're like, Christian, you're something special. On top of that, you don't realize it yet, but this role is going to change your life. You need to be in Los Angeles, not Atlanta. Because what happens is sometimes, sometimes, it's always an exception to every rule. Most movies, they're, they're, they, they get their hair. They, they get made here. They get started here. And then, all right, let's go shoot it in Atlanta. That's what happened. So the film industry is growing in Atlanta. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's countless opportunity in front of and behind the camera. So the the major things happen here in Los Angeles, and then they go to Atlanta. Like I said, that's sometimes because I was fortunate enough to get a lead role in Burning Sands from Atlanta, not Los Angeles. So it just it's 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 whatever God wants for your life is what's gonna happen. So we know that you have a, a road that'll be jumping off on BET. That'll be in July. July 11th. Uh, July 11th. We'll be able to Come check on. that out. Uh -huh. Also dropping later this fall. You'll be in a movie with Little Mama, directed by Tasha Smith. Correct. We'll be able to check that out as well. As the year 2017 continues to progress, what can we expect from you, good brother? You can expect more life, more wins, more projects. I'm up for a couple roles now. Can't speak on those. I wish I could. But it's like you're going to see me everywhere. You won't be able to turn on your TV screen and look at it. Like I always remember when I was a kid, 
And it's, it's funny, as an adult, I remember these things. Like, you'll watch, you'll turn, you're flipping through the channels, and you're seeing the same people on a bu bunch of different channels. I want to be that guy now. You still see it now. You exactly. see Steve Harvey all over the place. Exactly. You see Luda doing. You see, you see a lot of the same cats on the TV screen over and over again. So I can dig that. Why don't you let our audience know for those who may be, may be new to you and they want to check you out, want to see where they can see some of your previous work at, how they can follow you via social media. Absolutely. You can follow me on Instagram at Christian underscore Robinson. That's Instagram Christian underscore Robinson. Terrell Thomas, we're live right now, Los Angeles, California, Hollywood. Right. Make sure you keep this guy on your radar. Look out for him. Make sure you check out Irv Gotti's new special, uh, Tales, that'll be dropping. Well, actually, when you see this interview, we'll be about what? Your episode is two, the episode second episode two. two. So this will be in a, into the second episode of Tales. So make sure you check out this brother's role, Meek Mill. Shout out to Philly. He'll be in the building, the cold hearted. And make sure you continue to check out everything we got jumping here on Hip Hop since 1987. Hip-hop since 1987.com